Runway Mountain. Connect two pieces of runway by clamp, and then fix runway on a runway beam by hooked nail. Weld one steel stopper, total four units, at each end of runway. Bus bar mounting. Weld steel supporting frame on the runway beam, and the interval is 1.2 meters, 1.5 meters. Fix one tensioner on the end of the supporting frame, and the bolts needn't to be tightened completely. Lay the bus bar and fix it on the hanging frame. Fix the other tensioner. Tension and straighten bus bar and tighten all the bolts of the tensioners. Components assembly. Support the main girder at least one meter higher from ground level by two pieces of steel frame. Connect end truck with main girder by bolts and tighten the bolts.
mount safety chain of the motor, connect the motor with end truck, and then tighten the bolts. Maintain the motor every three months and fasten all of the bolts. See steel mounting, supportive frame of span cable. The distance from main girder to the outside of the frame is 30 centimeters. Pour the gear oil into the gear box. The volume of the oil varies from different lifting capacity of the electric hoist. 3 ton 1.6 liters, 5 ton 2.3 liters, 10 ton 3.5 liters, 10 to 16 ton 3.5 liters. 20 to 25 ton, 6 liters, and 32 ton, 8 liters. Electric hoist mounting. Fit the electric hoist with main girder. Mount the supporting frame of control panel.
fix the control panel on the supporting frame. Lay the power cable of electric hoist and weld a steel frame for the cable. Lay the cable of long travel motor and wire the motor according to the wiring joint. Weld the long travel control panel on the end track and do the wiring according to the joint. Wire travel switch and then weld them on each end of the end track. Fix the warning alarm on the end track and then wire it.
the wiring work for control panel of electric hoist. Ground commissioning, motor running, forward and backward, electric hoist, left and right, up and down. Place the assembled overhead crane on the runway. Here we did a special design fixed pulley for the situation that there is not enough space for installation in the workshop. Mount the current collector and weld the steel frame on the main girder. Wire the current collector to the control panel of long travel. Then switch on the power. Please don't touch the bus bar since it is powered on. Weld a steel limit barrier and adjust it with a limit switch. Make the overhead crane loaded and do the test running work to check all the movements forward and backward, left and right, up and down. <laughs> 